Hi everybody, my name is Debbie Ray and I'm the owner of Total-German-Shepherd.net and also Total-German-Shepherd.com and today I'd like to take a little time to share some information with you uh, about the German Shepherd dog and these are tips and some tidbits, trivia or whatever that German Shepherd lovers everywhere will probably be very interested in learning. So first of all, when you think about the German Shepherd breed, overall this is a fairly recent breed when you think about the history of dogs overall. Uh, these dogs have been developed almost entirely in the 1900s. Now the father of the German Shepherd dog breed was a gentleman called Max von Stefanitz. And this gentleman, uh, he, he was a German cavalry officer. Now the first German Shepherd dog to actually be registered was a dog nom named Horned. And there on the screen you can see a picture of him. Now the first German Shepherd to actually believe to have set his paw upon North American shores happened in 1906. And the first dog to actually be exhibited in North America or in America was in 1907. And the first German Shepherd to actually be registered with the AKC was in 1908. And these dogs also served uh, in various ways throughout the wars in World War I and World War II. In England in 1917, the German Shepherd breed, the name was actually changed to that of the Alsatian. Now the German Shepherd dog Strongheart became one of the first canine silent stars, or the silent film stars, and this was back in the uh, 1921. And the greatest canine film star of all time, Ren Tin Tin, came from Germany in World War I where an American soldier named Lee Duncan found him and his sister in a bombed dog kennel uh, back in the early 1920s. Now the German Shepherd was also the first dog breed to be trained as a working guide dog and here you see a picture on the screen of a dog named Buddy. Uh, she was the first seeing eye dog in 1928 and there you'll also see her handler, a Mr. Morris Frank. Now today's German Shepherd breed is a fantastic companion dog and they're also the working dog of choice for, for many different dog agencies or, or throughout the world simply because these dogs can excel in any kind of dog training. Now Nemo was a German Shepherd uh, and this was the first hero of his kind to actually return from the Vietnam War. In fact he returned to the United States with honors and was the first sentry dog to be officially retired from active service. Now the German Shepherd is suitable for many different jobs. They can do anything from herding to police work to drug and bomb detection to uh, guiding the visually impaired, um, search and rescue, tracking, schutzen work, you name it, this dog can do it all. Now the average litter size for a German Shepherd breed is eight puppies. And the basic requirements of owning a German Shepherd, and these are really important. First of all, these dogs do require daily exercise. Now, these dogs also should not be allowed to roam free. The best home scenario for these dogs would be to, you know, have a fence yard to exercise in, or maybe even a kennel for them to to exercise and be able to run around in. You don't want to confine them to a chain or, you know, tie them outside or whatever. These dogs want to be with you, so you want to give them, you know, exercise time, but you also want to make sure that you don't confine them to a chain or to a, to a uh, you know, tie out. Remember also, training is a very important part of owning one of these dogs. This helps also to establish a very strong bond between you and your new German Shepherd, and it's also excellent exercise, be it uh, physical and also mental as well. Now the Seeker Show, which is held in Germany each year, is the largest show held for any dog breed in the world. Now the German Shepherd is uh, typically a male is around 24 to 26 inches in height and usually anywhere from around 80 to about 100 pounds or so. And for a female, typically they're around 22 to 24 inches in height and weigh somewhere between like 70 to 85 or so pounds. Now the German Shepherd, uh, according to litter and individual registrations, is one of the most popular and numerous breeds of dog in the whole world. And concerning their coat, also the uh, breed standard mandates that the normal coat of a German Shepherd should have a thick undercoat and that the outer coat should be as dense as possible, made up of straight hairs that, that are lying close you know, to each other uh, to help give the dog protection against the elements. Acceptable dog colors for the German Shepherd may include any of the following. Black and tan, black and cream, black and, black and red, uh, sable, 
solid black. Uh, they also come in solid white, although this is considered a confirmation disqualification in the show ring. Um, these dogs also come in black and silver. Now, rare coat colors for these dogs are a liver color, which is kind of a reddish color, and also blue, which kind of, with last name say it's kind of a, a bluish color or a, a kind of a smoke gray. Now, in 1999, or May 1st of 1999, the United Kennel Club recognized the White German Shepherd dog breed as a separate breed itself known as the White German Shepherd. Now, additional facts about the German Shepherd is that this is a highly uh, active door dog, both indoors and outdoors. They are incredibly intelligent and they have a tremendous learning capability. Now, these dogs have just, just a fantastic problem solving skills. They can also be very territorial and protective of, of what they consider their human pack. And these dogs are exceptionally sociable to children, especially when you raise them with them from an early age. Now, according to the author of the, the uh, book, The Intelligence of Dogs, the German Shepherd dog ranks as the third most intelligent dog breed of all the dog breeds. If you'd like to learn more about the German Shepherd, please visit my websites at total-german-shepherd.net and there you see on the screen a picture of a book that I have there that, that I have written. Or you can also visit my other website at uh, total-german-shepherd.com and there you can also read information about um, health and training and, and puppies and adult dogs and you name it. It's all there. Um, Again, I hope you've enjoyed this information. I hope you've learned something, and I appreciate your time, and I hope you have a good day.